He blamed the kid, saying he knows to swim to shore. <laughs> And son, what you doing? Time to go home. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Bryce is Right. Hopefully, everybody's had a great freaking weekend, and we're about to start off this week with a freaking bang. First, uh, y'all know I got a crazy one lined up for y'all today. Uh, y'all keep sending me these clips, so I'm enjoying them. So, send away. Thank you once again. Now, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss out on any future content. And leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's up. Other than that, let's go ahead and dive right in, y'all. Let's get it. Is that like a UFO or a submarine? What's got these light sources under the water in the ocean? I mean, obviously, it looks like this is from some kind of a, maybe a cargo ship. Não, o sol morreu foi pra lá, não foi pra cá, não. O sol morre lá, o sol se pôs lá, ó. Que luz é aquela ali? Vai diminuindo. Olha lá, no meio do nada. Muitoeira. That's wild, y'all. What the? What the hell? Yo. Fuck this. If my daughter starts doing this, Mimi, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to start watching her. No, I'm just kidding. Six Flags Swing Rod gets stuck and Kate is laying on seat. Where you going, Alex? What? This shit is crazy. Why is bro hanging? Hell no. He's on the wrong ride. <laughs> yeah, because they had those, like, it's like a swing that you go on that you sit on that. I rode that before. But I don't know why I was on the swing set one. That's, that's odd. There must be some editing. Not just this video. <laughs> Stop the cap. Mm, she just took the Thanos tunnel <laughs> straight back home. Proves that the moon landing video is completely fake. In the middle of the desert in the United States, he found the spot where this moon landing scene was filmed. It's quite compelling and shocking. You should know that a Google artificial intelligence was presented in Russia. This AI can determine if a video is fake or not, and it can do this for any video. During the presentation at the Kremlin in front of Vladimir Putin, he chose the moon landing video to see if it was fake or real. This AI declared that the NASA moon landing video was completely fake. NASA admitted that it was a fake video because they supposedly lost the original, according to their tweet. Elon Musk said, Ah, uh, I understand better why we haven't gone back, because even today we would have trouble doing it given our technological capabilities, which is pretty crazy. Subscribe for more quality videos. What was that, Taylor? We make music for a purpose. It is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it, you are participating yeah, in listening. a satanic ritual. Okay, Swifties, we all know by now that Zena LaVey, you know, the Satanists, but you heard what they were talking about. They said by even listening to the music, you partake in a Satanic ritual. You ever heard of a rap sigil? Turn my headphones up! I'm serious, nigga, turn them up! Turn them up! Listen. It's a thing where they, one, or somebody, two, record them, or three, chop the audio up and sample it, and return to the scene and rap where they somebody at. They put it on a mixtape and that creates a sigil. 
they sell the mixtape, people listen to it, and boom, the sigil is charged, and they make a lot of profit from it. Is this what Lucifer, I mean, Lil Uzi Vert was talking about his concert? Obviously, all y'all is going to hell, right with me. Shut up, bitch! What? So, you heard the song a million times, and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still love It's crazy, because now them lyrics are starting to make sense. I don't really care if you cry. I just know you should have never lied. She said she's not afraid to die. Just a stretch. Now, one of the most well-known examples of this is from this song, Bad Things by Colts. In the background of this song is actually the infamous last speech of Jim Jones. You know, the cult leader who poisoned his entire cult. At certain points of the song, you can actually hear screams from the children in the cult. Scroll if you don't want to hear it. Now, J. Cole went on to sample this song and use it. She knows. Now, he claims that he had no knowledge of this, but it's too late now. Who knows the amount of songs that we've listened to not knowing the true meaning? Bro, bro, that's rough. My buddy just sent me this video right here. All I can say is goosebumps Ooh. on top of goosebumps. Y'all watch this, man. This isn't, this is, this is going to get this place shut down. Okay, so this whole Thank thing you. has kind of been confusing at parts. A minute ago, I saw her take a video of a rock that was chipping and it shouldn't ship like that. And then my Shakira was over here and she's beating on this stuff. And we realized that this chip's like a plaster and it's like a hollow sound compared to the, what we, the real rock. Look, there's a perfect scene. I mean, perfect it goes all the way up. I'm like, this is placed together, plastered over. And then probably was like, hanging over giants or some shit. Okay, so almighty powerful ones, all I ask is when y'all shut this place down for research purposes, just let me and Nick and them come back and check it out. You know what I'm saying? We just want to see the inside. That's all I'm asking. Then I can post it. Hmm. Y'all can all see it. That's interesting. So I wanted to make a video to show how dry the, the Everglades is. is. The solution is rain. Yes, absolutely. So I'm 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 right off of the main trail and I literally stepped out of the boat. Dry ground everywhere. We're a couple days away from not being able to run tours out here. We desperately need rain. What is he trying to tell the government? Yes, send us some rain. I mean that's their highway to get around. That's wild. We just got fish jumping out of jumping out of the water on dry ground everywhere. Under oh the no! We need rain desperately. Yeah, sends on this way. That's crazy. I've never seen that. That's wow. You need some help? Okay, I know. Just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. I just see the dad pull his anchor and then his bolt was gone. Just hold on a second. I didn't mean to get anything like that. Okay, but I'm gonna bring you oh over to the land, okay? Just calm down, you're on my boat. You don't have to worry about the current taking you out. I just hear like a scream. I see the kid is being taken up the river with the current. That's giving me chills. I, I got a way to get you up and out without bringing all the water in, okay? So I think if you can hold on like that, can you do that for me? You're strong, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So I just need to be strong for a few more seconds. He was panicking. He was trying to fight against the current, but his arms and legs were a little bit too tired. So I just knew I needed to get him from the middle of the river to the bank as quickly as possible. I was able to make jokes to kind of get him distracted and get his mind off what was actually happening. And he stopped panicking. He held onto the boat. He was able to conserve some energy. How old are you? I can't remember. You can't remember? Are you that old? Are you like 101? No. 102? I'm six. Oh, you're six? And I look like I'm fat. Oh, wow, that's good. That must mean you must eat all your fruit and vegetables. He was very strong for a six-year-old kid. I don't think a lot of six-year-old kids would have lasted as long as he <laughs> did. Because we're almost there, okay? Yeah. We're making waves. Are you cold? Yeah. How long have you been six. in the water? Longer. A long time? Long. Can you pull yourself yeah, up? Was. Can you make it up? He blamed the kid, saying he knows to swim to shore. We've been in this situation before. Yeah. Calm down. Slowly swim to shore. Yep. You got this. We've been in this before. Yep. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So I was really concerned about the welfare of the child. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. We might be seeing each other again. This is proof that we might be around things we don't see and we're not able to mm, understand it. It's rough. This man was at a party around his family 
when his daughter noticed he was looking outside, almost as he had seen something terrifying outside with a very beautiful look on his face. His daughter decided to take a video of this, and upon checking the video the next day, the daughter was able to notice that something was standing in the shadows. She tried to light up the video a little bit, and this is what she was able to capture, a creature with mm. an extremely disturbing face. It almost seems like the creature had no face at all. I also used a different filter to see if I was able to see the face a little bit better of this creature. Have you ever felt a presence like this? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And what do you think this creature can be? Okay. Might be on to something there. Hmm. Wow. Ooh. Hey, take a breath. Road rage is not even something to mess around with anymore. I try to tell my wife that I have the worst of Breaking it. News. New York just, just don't. experienced another UFO sighting, and it was actually witnessed by thousands. This happened during an air show on Long Island over Memorial Day weekend. The U.S. Navy's Blue Angels were performing over Jones Beach on Friday when a spherical-looking object flew past the Boeing F.A. 18 Super Hornet at an incredible rate of speed. Captured in this TMZ footage, the strange UFO appears and vanishes within the blink of an eye. However, if you watch closely in slow motion, the video shows the UFO gliding directly in front of the jet before darting out of the Blazed camera's by. frame. According to a report filed with the National UFO Reporting Center, the craft was between 36,000 to 41,000 feet in the air. Could this have been a non-human intelligence craft? Or perhaps just a drone? What do you think it was? It was about pretty fast. I don't know. This car. Okay, where is this car that's reflecting on this Boston Pizza window? It's a Corvette C8. I seriously don't see that car anywhere. What Where's that car? Heck? What? That's where, so weird. Where is that car? Hello, where's that car? Where is this car? Look at this, you guys. That's weird. What is this? Have you guys ever seen anything like this before? I don't know what the guy in the video what is saying, that? but... I mean, it says Northern Lights, but this ain't the Northern Lights. This is in Pakistani. <laughs> but what is this? I'm reading the comments and people are saying Samsung is shooting a new commercial, but I mean, obviously that's a joke. But have you guys ever seen anything like this before? Like, how do you even begin to explain what is going on in this video, y'all? Like, you can't even make sense of this. It looks like some colorful strings, but where is it coming from and for what? Right? What is going on in this? So is this one of those kites y'all were talking about the other day? The dragon kites that was it in Florida? <laughs> video did anybody know can anybody explain what this is like someone that's familiar with this anybody has seen this before but this looks truly magical though nonetheless yeah it looks pretty wow badass. look at the color y'all it's like a chameleon this was taken that's in mississippi cool. the other day there's more to come pushkis javadoo yeah, I don't know what this is about. Man, that's one straight line. Walmart is charging $98 to people to use self-checkout. Just announced it. I beg your pardon? You have to pay $98 to Walmart if you want to use the self-checkout link. No. And in addition to you now paying $98, Walmart is very selectively no. reducing the amount of available self-checkout lanes. In an attempt, because theft was so great at Walmart in the self-checkout lanes, they had to do something because they were losing so much money. They installed the self-checkout lanes thinking it would save them money on payroll. But in fact, they ended up losing 10 or 20 or 30 times more because of all the theft. So instead of just stopping it, 
in an attempt to recoup their money, they're now going to charge people something called Walmart Plus, which is $12 a month or $98 a year to use self-checkout, start taking away the self-checkout lanes. <laughs> but I haven't seen them roll out this service yet because I'm still using the self-checkout at Walmart. But I know that they're losing a couple billion just off of loss prevention alone, so... Who knows? Golly. I hate to see this for anybody anywhere. Mm. That's wild. Amazing. That's one of the, wow, that is a tornado. It. Hmm. That's pretty wild. Ah, that's gonna be the worst. Mm. Sheesh. Insane, man. Mm. It just drops. Sure, this is over a month ago. Oh, my gosh! Shit, it was crazy hitting two, two birds, one stone, lightning strike. Come on now. You really feel like a professional photographer when you catch a lightning strike on camera. <clears throat> uh oh, what do we got now? Sony, what are y'all up to? Introducing Brain Bridge, the world's first revolutionary concept for a head transplant machine which uses state-of-the-art robotics and artificial intelligence to conduct complete head and face transplantation procedures, ensuring smooth outcomes and faster recoveries. Because head transplants require high speed, precision, and efficiency, BrainBridge utilizes advanced high-speed, high-precision robotic systems to speed up the process, eliminate human error, prevent brain cell degradation, and ensure seamless compatibility. The head transplant procedure involves removing a person's entire head containing the brain from their current diseased body and attaching it to the body of a healthy, young, brain-dead donor. Dude, humans believe in some crazy it's stuff. Insane. Oh, like it's crazy it's stuff. It's insane. Yeah, but, but you know what, what's crazy? Is that they think what they believe in is crazy. Like the conspiracies yeah. that humans believe in that are actually true. Like if, if they knew if they knew mm. what we know. They would lose their minds. You you wanna know what a human actually asked me the other day? What? He asked me, he said, uh, hey, do you think do you think the moon landing is real? Really? Yeah, he asked me and I was like, Well, you know, I don't necessarily think humans are capable of going to the moon. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think the moon is real? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> for, for a second there, I was like, ah. ah you don't know. I you don't, still don't know. I don't know. You still don't know. I still don't know. 
Imagine having to do that makeup every time before that podcast. Historians just made a prehistoric discovery in the U.S. Found in Wisconsin's Lake Mendota are at least 11 ancient dugout canoes. The oldest dates back 4,500 years, meaning it was built around the same time Stonehenge was constructed and 1,700 years before the Roman Empire. This discovery proves that hunter-gatherers did travel by dugout canoe. And historians believe there might be an ancient village site located under Lake Mendota, so we'll have to stay tuned. Historians just... I just don't even know what you would do if you saw that. Holy shit, what the fuck is going on right now? Dang, got the Grand Theft Auto 5 star on the freaking hot air balloons or what? Sheesh. What in the ever living f is that? Oh my god, this is What is that? I'm not even tripping. Oh, that's so scary. Hmm. Oh my god. Like, I'm not tripping right there. Where are you? Uh, Bill Duke on the list. I think this is it. I think this is it. Yeah, it sure is. Stop the cap. What the fuck kind of crap is that? Raccoon? Raccoon. Is that what raccoons sound like? Come on. Someone let me know. I can't be a raccoon. Sounds like a dog to me. Don't Walking through that like it's no big deal. He's burping, sipping his beer. Not a worry in the world. I don't care if a mountain lion or a bear comes on and attacks me. I'm not even worried. Dude, you crazy. So there are so reports dark. out of China now that scientists have found a cure for diabetes and the American pharmaceutical Same industry one. is not happy about it. There are now examples of Chinese patients receiving this experimental stem cell therapy and after about 11 weeks no longer requiring insulin. Which I imagine is something that sounds amazing to people with diabetes, no longer having to poke yourself. But it doesn't sound amazing to giant American pharmaceutical companies like Eli Lilly who currently dominate the insulin market and use it to make billions of dollars. And this has been very controversial as they've regularly increased the price of insulin knowing that it's a necessary commodity that people with diabetes need to survive. And this is extra disgusting because the inventor of insulin, Frederick Banting, originally sold a patent for $1 saying that insulin doesn't belong to me, it belongs to the world. And if people can be cured of diabetes so they no longer need insulin, obviously that would really cut into the demand for this product and cut into their profits. And here we see the contradictory nature of the for-profit American healthcare system. Innovation and advancements in medical technology are actually disincentivized if they have the potential to cure the patient and make it so they're no longer a repeat customer for the pharmaceutical industry. So much for capitalism promoting innovation and socialism destroying it. In reality, it's the opposite it just makes no fucking sense i mean it's just bullshit yeah it's rough it's sickening that's like our worst fear sitting there waiting to wakeboard or whatever you're waiting for just wondering what's about to attack your feet oh, i would have died come on bro there's no freaking way. It's quite pungent. It stings the nostrils. In a good way. Yeah. 
Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. Way, dude. <laughs> Sex Panther. <laughs> God, it sounds like a bunch of like a train horn factory just going all off at the same time. That means we'll come back June sixth. That. That's I'll right. Some weird things about Northern Israel in a minute, but it's not just Northern Israel. But the emergency services of Israel said that their W A R is quickly escalating out of hand. Everybody knows war. Who? <laughs> yeah. Well, it is a good for absolutely nothing. No kidding. <laughs> now I can't what show you most of the videos that I have on absolutely this on this nothing. platform, but it is bad. So the fires I just showed you were up in northern what? Israel. Now look what I circled here in blue. What is that? That's where Russia's new base was put. Specifically right on the border of Golanites. <laughs> we have strong biblical references and parallels like with Damascus as or well. Penguin. And it's not just northern Israel. This is chaos right now. But that's not the only strange occurrence that happened in the last 48 hours. Russia has just made a discovery of a new dangerous blood-sucking fly. What? If you want to get technical, pause. Anyways, these blood-sucking flies that just magically appear in Russia are very bad for spreading things that ticks and mosquitoes spread. I mean, it looks like a tick and a bee were combined and put together, right? Oh, shit. So really, who knows where they came from. God, uh, we just can't 6th. win. I have predicted that there will be earthquake June 6th. June 6th? Oh, Any specific man. location or? LA and Vegas. June, June 6th? Or, uh, June 6th of 2024. What is it? Alright, that's where I'm gonna leave it with. There you have it. Everybody Couple get the days. hell out of Los Angeles. <laughs> Everybody get the If you're watching this, run. Yeah. 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 Mmm. Oh my god. Gross. Mm. A 62 year old man had 217 oh. COVID 19 vaccine shots over a 29 month period. He deliberately and for private reasons went against the recommendations of national health authorities who obviously told him don't do this. It's reported that his reasoning for the hyper vaccination was that he believed it would enhance his adaptive immunity. Over a period of about nine months, he actually got one vaccine shot every other day. Day, alternating which arm he'd choose to use. Bizarrely, he still has a really good functioning immune system. That's insane. Like, they couldn't get me to take the first one. A German flat earth map Sheesh. from World War II has just been uncovered and it depicts another ice wall all around Earth with other continents and land masses that are outside of it. And supposedly, Germany during this time period went on expeditions. See, see these black circles? I had to erase that so we didn't have to see their symbol. But this is supposedly where they went out and just claimed this land. Here's New Schwabenland, whatever that is. And they actually have Asgard way over there. <laughs> and then up here we've got Terra de Vista. I'm not sure what that is. And I don't know what that is either. Is that supposed to be the top of the earth or something? And then over here, we have the lost continent of Lemuria, which apparently went underneath the sea and sank somehow. But I guess it's on this map from the 1940s. But a lot of these words we can't even read because it's in German. But it, it's, this is also a reflection of the moon map, if you've ever seen that. It's so where he said it was flat, but it looks like it's a sphere, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. 
<laughs> don't touch that. If it's got candle wax on it, you don't touch it's it. It's got a lot of shit and whatever. Like, I don't know what's in there. Can you get in there? Maybe Maker's Mark is the only thing. It's or pretty much stuck on hollow. there. Like, it's... The, the candle has it sealed completely. <laughs> Oof. Watch out. Oh my god! Dude, goddamn it. What the f dude? It's an assault circle. Deal. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo. That's a big dude. Here, here, here. Dude, shine it in here. He says, uh uh, you go first. What was that? They got scared. Looks like there's marks on him. Oh, it just like me. There's marks appearing on his arm. That what the heck? Like uh, to cut the camera off. No, no, I'm not filming it. Turn it. What the hell? What is that? Oh no. Is this the people? I think we saw them do the uh the emulator thing or the um Or the devil came up from under the table? Huh. Oh my gosh, you can still see the shadow. What the hell? What is that? Hell no. Mm, those look like bad demons and spirits. <laughs> and then you got this dude. <laughs> that would just be funny. It's like having a cool this roommate. So weird. Oh gosh. Mm, there's Beast. Can you understand me? What the hell is that? What? what? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mother of God. So I get off work That's and uh, creepy. <laughs> this is what I come home to. Which would be cool. But I'm alone and there's nobody here. Except maybe Digi. Did you, did you run the bath? Or are you gonna take an... What the fuck? What? Ooh, uh-uh. Better get out of there. Did you? Dog said, nope. I'm gone. What is that bike doing just rolling okay, up the so hill? Okay, so I will say I'm stupid for drinking what? Uh, that knife. Fell out of that little fucking knife container thingy. What? Nino. Mm mm. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> You just pull the corner out of the couch, huh? That's your gaming chair. The start okay. of the footage, we see a young woman dancing in front of the camera. She's smiling and clearly having a good time. However, mm. viewers distracted by the dancing woman might not notice something rather eerie happening in the background. Just behind the girl is a darkened doorway. Mm. 
If you look closely, no, you'll see what appears to be a ghostly face peering Ooh. out of the darkness. That's not good. The face Dang, is extremely pale and is partially covered with long, stringy black hair. Oh, gosh. That's creepy. She's the creepy over here dancing. just sits silently, creepily watching the woman dance. Hmm. Yeah. She's just bouncing around on her jammies. I hope she's okay. What's this guy doing? Oh my gosh. Octopus is like, oh. What the? That's <laughs> Timothy. He's my friend. He has kids. The heck? Your lord. That was weird. What is that? Is that like a big sea creature or like a little... What's going on right there, y'all? Has anybody seen this clip before? What the hell? Is that a whale? We out here hearing weird noises in the forest. What the fuck the... Oh, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? Jake Paul finally gets scammed. Apparently, he hired a guy to make an entire <laughs> documentary about him. It was supposed to air on Apple TV, but instead, the guy who made the documentary aired it on his own personal YouTube channel. So, like, I'm not joking. Like, there's oh, a full man. hour episode thing, not even 30,000 views yet. And obviously, Logan Paul goes on TMZ <laughs> to complain about it. Here is the clip. I mean, I kind of feel bad, but let me know what y'all think in the comments. I have the best interest That's kind of in funny. mind because I trusted this guy to do a profile of my life and I let him in for five months That's on the pretense that it was going to be a show on yeah. Apple TV and yesterday it airs on his YouTube channel. <laughs> Bro! Hordes of emails from your team. I let you into my house on Christmas because I thought the show would go to Apple but instead you plastered it on your personal YouTube channel. I gave you archival footage of me and Jake from when we were kids. That's you insane. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! I watched some of the documentary and literally halfway through he goes, Oh, this is gonna be on TV, it's gonna be awesome. It's on his own YouTube channel. Like, that was just... Anyways, <laughs> go watch it, it's actually pretty good, but I'll see y'all later. That's funny. Hey, I mean, that would suck. You gotta be careful who you trust because everybody wants a deal. But man, you can't just have anybody in your house filming everywhere and make... Ah, oh, that's weird. How do you... You gotta read the freaking documentation. Read your contracts, people. Or have your lawyer read it. Would you pay four thousand dollars to swing big sticks and scream in the woods with the aim of releasing your anger? So four thousand? So it's called the Rage Ritual Retreat, and the founder's name is Mia, and she describes herself as a spiritual fairy godmother and is known online as Mia Magic. Right now I feel angry, right now I feel frustrated at everything. Whatever you're feeling, let it out. Express yourself. Now participants are encouraged to scream, to think of people and experiences that have wronged them, and swing big sticks for up to twenty minutes or until they can no longer move their arms as a way to release their emotions. <laughs> Rage rituals are down in the forest so that they don't have to worry about bothering people nearby. And if you're thinking of joining a rage ritual, the packages range from two thousand to four thousand dollars. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. What the hell is this? Hey, I'll let you pay me that much to come swing some sticks. This is the kind of weird stuff you see at Mizzou. I guess this is some sort of crazy hazing ritual and there's also stuff like the radioactive chemistry building and the Oscar Myers Wino Mobile. Oh, shit! <laughs> Tell me what. And we know Mobile. What the hell? Ooh, they about to get it. What the fuck? Oh, that's creepy yeah. as hell. This is. They kind of look really alike, and there's more to it than that. There are some similarities that might just shock you. If you continue to watch. And like I said, I'm not saying, I'm just showing. Now, not just only take off his mustache and have very similar mannerisms, but Miles Garrett just also happens to be really good at basketball. Really good. And move a heck of a lot like a certain somebody else. Do you see it? Because I sure see it. And not just on the way to the hoop, but the way they finish as well. That's a charity mm. game. That's an NBA game. 
and I'm not sure what this is about, but Miles Garrett dribbling a basketball in an NFL game, and some of you might be saying, but they're built so differently. Kobe's tall and skinny, and Miles is tall and strong. Yeah, because no one has ever gone from zero to hero in a short amount of time. And that's a funny, handsome one. That's not zero to hero. I wish I knew what that meant. And if you're just not convinced yet, hmm. that's okay. But maybe this smoking gun birthmark might do it for you. It's a strange smoking spot. gun, huh? To have a very similar birthmark on both seemingly different bodies. And one I don't know. What do y'all think? When the other one came into a league. Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another Bryce is Right. Hey, I hope y'all all have a great freaking week. Thank y'all so much for joining uh, today. We'll, of course, see y'all on Friday. So uh, be ready. I got another crazy one in store for y'all. Don't worry. And yeah, just don't forget to smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and turn those notifications on so you'll know when that next video is coming out. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all on Friday. Peace. Turn them up. Turn them up. Not for real, nigga. I'm saying on the paper, I'm writing.